Right, this is fourth grade, module three, lesson 34. And in this lesson, we're gonna be focusing on multiplication now. We're gonna be multiplying two digit multiples of 10. So like 30 or 40 or 80 times a two digit number like 23. And we're gonna be using a uh, place value chart, but we're also gonna be using the associative property in both of these cases, parents and teachers, you need to understand that this is not the way we were taught back in the day. This is going to be a little different. It might even be a little bit uncomfortable for you. Uh, but the idea is eventually our students are going to be getting to that same standard algorithm that we, we've all known and loved. But first, before we get to that standard algorithm, we really want to teach number sense we want students to develop some strategies so that the numbers and the algorithms that we teach make sense to them rather than just something that they blindly memorize. So let's get to work. So it says to use the associative property to rewrite each expression. This is totally different than what um, we did when we were uh, students back in the day. So the idea is we're going to take a look at that 20, right? And 20, we can think of 20 as 2 times 10, all right? And now, using that 2 times 10, we can regroup and we, we're going to get 2 times... Now we have 34 times 10, so that's the associative property where we went from 2 and 10 being associated with one another, 2 times 10, to now it's 10 times 34, which, is, which are being associated with one another. Now, what are we going to do? Well, let's do that 10 times 34. So 10 times 34, you will recall, we're going to model the 34. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you'll recall that when we multiply by 10, we learned that multiplying that by 10 just moves those dots to the left one column. So dot, dot, dot. And that multiplying by um, these guys by 10. So that's multiply by 10. And this is multiply by 10. Uh, moves those dots one column to the left. Dot, 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 dot. So when we multiply these three tens by 10, you get three hundreds. When you multiply these four ones by 10, you get four tens. And so what is our answer? This ends up being 300, four tens, and no one. So 340. So um, I'm going to add in an extra row. So this becomes two times, and then this is 340. So really, technically, we no longer need these parentheses. And now what is 2 times 340? Well, 2 times 340 means we just take each of these and we just add one more row. So 2 times 300s gives us 600s. And 2 times 410s gives us 810s. And so our new answer becomes 680. And so way over here, we get 680. All right, so I needed to add in an extra row here. I hope you don't mind terribly. Let's do one more. So we're going to start with 30 times 42. And what does that end up being? Okay, we're going to take the 30 and we're going to decompose it to be 30 times 10, I mean, 3 times 10 times 42. And then the next row, we've got 3 times, and it's going to be 10 times 42. All right. And then, uh, if we don't recall what 10 times 42 is, well, let's do that. So start by modeling 42. So 42 is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. So there's our 42. And we're going to multiply that by 10 because it says so. Well, when we multiply by 10, that means this, those dots are going to move one column to our left. These dots are going to move one column to our left. And we're going to end up with 
4 in the hundreds. Oops, I wanted that to be black. Let's make that black. 4 in the hundreds and 2 in the tens. So that ends up being uh, 420. All right. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to add in a row that Eureka Math wasn't expecting. It's going to be 3 times 420. So now, what is 3 times 420? Well, what that means is over here, instead of having one row of 400s, we're going to end up with three rows. And instead of having one row of two tens, we're going to have three rows. So this represents three times 420. What that means is we're no longer going to have 420. Because remember, whenever you have 10 in a column, you can cash those in for 1 in the column to our left. So I can see that there's 12 here. So I know that I can cash in 10 of them. Those 10 equal 1 in the thousands column. So what do we end up with? We end up with 1 in the thousands column, 2 in the hundreds column, 6 in the tens column right here, and nothing in the ones column. So we end up with 1,260. So now it says continue using that associative property only this time we're not going to do the place value disks. So let's start with this one. So let's do 30 times 21, and that equals 3 times 10 times 21, which is equal to 3 times 10 times 21. And by now, we want our students to know that 10 times 21 is 210 times 3, and then we want students to use logic. We have two hundreds times three, so that gives us six hundreds. You have one ten times three, that gives you three tens. And you have no ones times three, that gives you nothing. So six hundred ten, I mean, sorry, two hundred ten times three gives you six hundred thirty. So that means. 30 times 21 is equal to 630. All right. Now, parents and teachers, this is an awful lot of work to do 21 times 30, right? I mean, a lot, of, a lot of people would just say, well, gee whiz, 21 times 30, all you do is cross off the zero, pretend it's not there, multiply 3 times 1, 3 times 2, and you get 63, and then you just bring down the zero and you get 630. So a lot of people, and rightly so, would say, well, this was a whole lot less work than all this. Well, that's absolutely true. But what we're doing here, first off, this is not the goal. This is just showing some number sense so that our students, when, we, when they finally get to that standard algorithm, it'll make sense without it just being a bunch of magic stuff of, why do we multiply the 3 times the 1 and the 3 times the 2? And why do we ignore the 0 and then just bring it down? A lot of this is just rules that we don't want our students to just blindly memorize. We want stuff to make sense. And then the last slide. We're going to use the distributive property to show solve the following. So the idea is 40 times 43 means 40 times, and then we've got... 40 plus 3, and then this is going to be 40 times 40 plus, and I'll put that in parentheses, 40 times 3. And then we want our students to know that this is 1,600, and we want our students to know that this is 120, and that ends up being 1,720. And so using the distributive property you can get this answer. Now, of course, if we wanted to, we could have used that associative property 
and the place value charts to do this, and of course we would have ended up with the same answer. In fact, teachers, you may want to do that. Solve this problem again using uh, what we did on the previous slide, that associative property and the place value charts, just to verify that we indeed get the same answer. And that wraps up 4th grade, Module 3, Lesson 34, multiplying two-digit multiples of 10, like 30, times a two-digit number, like 46.